I love it so much. So, I always say when you hit 36 weeks, I want you to spend lots of time belly down, getting in a good position so that the babies get locked and loaded in the right position. So, this is what your pelvis looks like. Your hip bones are down when you're on your hands and knees. So your hip bones are pointing down. This is your sacrum, tailbone. So imagine that leaning over the ball and then the baby. So the heavier part of the baby is going to come in like this. Just like that. So the baby's coming in, looking at your spine. That is what you want. If you spend too much time on your back, which you don't want, don't even look at a lazy boy. What's gonna happen is the heavier part of the baby is gonna turn like this and go like this. And this is not, this is bone on bone. This is not the best fit. This is like that puzzle piece that looks like it should fit, but it doesn't. So what happens is that dreaded word, or the dreaded two words, Anybody guess? Back labor. Back labor. See, even you Johnny knows. Uh, apparently, Johnny's getting ready for labor because he accidentally sprayed himself with Clary Sage instead of hand sanitizer. So, uh, he's ready for labor as well. Um, so, yeah, so we want to avoid back labor, right? That is not the best fit. It's longer, harder, less breaks. So, spending lots of time leaning over, over the bottom is the most comfortable because you're not on your wrists and your hands and then the rocking ability is so soothing. So belly down, babies get locked and loaded in that really good position. All right, so enough about that. Cue music. So if you have your Diva from all music at home, can you uh, cue that up at home? Uh, apparently we got in trouble from Facebook uh, because they recognize it as copywritten music, so we can't listen to that. So over on my end right now, we have some major sounds, but on your end, if you're at home and hanging up with your ball, um, go through the, the Diva from all albums to get your get you used to that. So here we go. Flat feet, hip bone widths, back of the hands on your thighs, thumb and first finger together. If you're in your last Four weeks on the ring finger for the really getting that baby down into the pelvis. Hopefully the right way. Breathe in your nose, out your nose. Four counts in, three or four counts out. Really let your hips sink into the ball. Shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. Already start to feel your body relax. Letting go of tension. And certainly in this stressful time, Putting all thoughts aside. Just be here, present, you and me. Breathe in and out. And our sound this week is O. So make lots of space between your ribs and your hips, your shoulders and your ears. And let's do three O's, long and deep. Big breath in. 
we're going to our seated version or ball version of pigeon. So this is definitely good on a chair as well. Actually easier on a chair. But for this, you do need to engage your core. I prefer not to touch myself. So ground it near me. Bring that leg across. Over your thigh. Flex at the ankle. Opening up that hip. Once you gotta get loose in there, lean in. Lean, lean. Flex at the ankles. Get deeper, deeper. Into that left hip, left butt. Stay steady. Slowly unwind. Extend that leg out so it's nice and straight. Lean in. If you can reach for your toes. Pull back, lean in. And slowly up, ease up. Back to feet, hip bone width. Other leg across, come up. Bring it in. Slowly start to lean in, getting deeper into that right neck, right butt. Deepen. So good. And unwind, straighten and flex. Go back on the toes, the ankle. Deepen. Ease up, roll up, take it wide, wide, wide. Gonna push those thighs apart. And come down in between. Steady and right go. Let your head go. Take breath in your back. Release. Dangle those elbows. Modern, I guess. Shake your bed no. Go a little lower. Press your palms down. Look up. Right hand down in front of your face. Open up. Gaze up. Switch. Left arm down. Right arm up, gaze up, and down. Walk your hands to your thighs, stick your chest out, and then round your back. Inhale out, exhale round, inhale out, and up. Side stretch, reach. And hug, and over, reach. And up heel toe back to hip bone width. Still nice and steady. Inhale, reach up. Reach. Push through. Drop the shoulders. Drop the shoulders. And slowly down. Now going to that hands and knees part I was talking about. So work your way down. Down, down. So this is your pelvis. You'll find that comfortable spot between your breasts and your belly. So this is your pelvis. Rock it out. Rock side to side. Do what feels good. Let your belly be loose. Remember 
downward so it can roll into the good position. And whatever way you rock it, just do the opposite. Just to see what feels good, more relaxing to you. Find your rhythm. All right, we're going into cat and cow on the wall. So come up, tuck your tail under, round your back, chin to your chest. And then inhale, roll it away. Arms out, ears between your upper arms. And tuck. And out. Probably can. 
So arms out, nice and long. Lengthen through the spine, weight down the heels. And look up, chin up. Inhale, exhale out. Lift one heel, push the other deeper. Switch. Both heels back and down. Good stretch. And come up. And all the way up. We're going to go to our warrior stance. So your right leg is going to come forward. And you're going to tuck the ball under your right cheek or the chair. So then we turn the back of the chair out that way. And slide. Ground it through both feet. Get as low as you can. The ball is just holding you there in place. Inhale up. Right hand captures the left. Side and right. And up. Twist. Wrap around yourself. Look over your shoulder. Push through that left heel. Inhale up. Right, reach back for the ball, lift that front heel, sink deeper, arc deeper, good, drop the front heel, coming over, skip your leg, go right to the ball, or chair, reach, nice long line, from your fingertips to your baby toes. Breathe. Ease up. Come up. We're going to go up. Up, up. Straight legs. Right hand on the ball. Left hand on the hip. Spiral open. Gaze over that shoulder. When you're ready. Open up, gaze up. Look if you can just smell here. Close your eyes. Now you're going to transfer your weight into the ball and come up. Lift. Whoops, that my thing in the way. Lift that leg. Point. Flex. Flex, roll the ankle one way and the other. Lift and drop back to a wide legged stance. Baby toes in line with the top and bottom of your mat. Swing his arms on the ball. And you're just going to tuck your tail under and neutral. Under. And neutral. Under. And neutral. Under. And neutral. Start to heel toe your way down into your first squat. And I'll start with her. I'm going to come a little closer, a little more personal for our third baby of March. This is Mandy's birth story. On and off, all day on March 4th, I had some irregular, not so painful contractions and was just praying this was the start of the real labor. By about 5 p.m., they were coming pretty regularly, but still not really painful, and I was carrying on with my day as usual. I think she texted me at about that point. At this point, I assumed it could be a long night of waiting and early labor before the serious contractions began. We decided around 7.15 to go for a walk to see if that might speed things up a bit. 
During the walk, contractions became slightly more intense and got me feeling hopeful. Once we were home around 7.45, I decided to rest in the coach for a while and the intensity of the contractions subsided a little. Just before 8 p.m., a strong contraction came and my water broke. Since I was GBS positive, I paged my midwife and she said to head to the hospital. Almost instantly, things got intense. Contractions were coming fast and furious, lasting a minute with no, no more than one minute break in between. Colin drove through every red light and got us to the hospital in record time. As I kept telling him, I didn't think we would make it to the hospital on time. We got to the hospital at 8.30 and the midwife had to start an IV for penicillin. Her and a nurse each tried a few times to get it in and finally got it in on the first attempt. Ouch. Okay. Send it out. Back to downward dog. We're going to leave it out. Ouch. For our second part squat. Send it out. Nice and long. Okay. Zooming back. For part two, left side. Ready? Left leg out, right leg back, hips and shoulders forward. Reach up, reach up. Left hand captures the right side, bend up. Pull back, push through the right heel. Look over, up. Legs out wide, 
and use the ball to help you roll into a forward fold. I'm trying to get better each time. Roll out, peekaboo, and up, and out, and up. One more good one. And up, over. One arm up, other arm under. Keep those toes up and active. Roll through the center. Up and over. Look under that arm. And up. Together. Shake it out. Now, go back to your knees for a pushing and a pelvic floor. So for your pushing today, so I want you to be wider than your mat because your knees have to be super, super wide. Tuck and tuck. So look where that baby's coming out. It's like a wide, wide knee hat stretch. Remember, the push is in the belly, pelvic floor relax. Three sets of ten good ones. Ready? Inhale and go. C shape. Tuck and tuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Quick breath and go right back where you want to Push with the belly. Pelvic floor relax. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breath. And go. More. Harder. One, two, three. Push past. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big breath in. That's a goodie because gravity is really working with you, working in your favor. The C shape is easier to achieve, and you will hear my voice in your head, in labor, same tuck and tuck. Okay, so the pelvic floor for today, I'm totally switching up your analogy this week. So, imagine there's water, a pillow here on your mat, not pee or any other fluid, just some nice fresh water. And you wanna swoosh that up your lady parts. You're gonna swoosh it up so you get those sensation of those all coming up towards your belly, engaging your thighs, engaging your glutes, your bum dimples get closer, and the more you're up, the more your abdominals kick in. Then you let that water all run up, and then you create that suction. Then the other thing I'm gonna try to change is the pulses. What you imagine, you're winking your clitoris. So find it, do that right now. Wink, 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 okay? So relax, deep breath in your ribs. Suck up, squeeze up, thighs, glutes, up. Inhale, let it all go. Exhale, suck it up, swoosh up, thighs, bum, abdominals. Inhale, let it all go. Two, 
three, no linking, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wink, one, two, three, four, five. Big breath all the way down your pubic bone. Relax that pelvic floor, let that air out. Neutral pelvic floor. Good job. Step up, step up. Now, come forearms on the ball. Rock it out. Hip side to side. Another good position to labor in. Breathe. Side to side. You could change the height of the ball. If this would be too low, you could put it up on the bed. And one more time. Let it out. Take a wide leg downward dog. Big breath here. And roll up. Shake it out. Rock it out. Good job. Slowly working your way down to the floor, back to the floor, soles of the feet together, butterfly out. Lean in, fold down. Good. 
and over, other side, twist, I got a little adjustment there, needed this twist I guess, and now you continue your roll on to your left side, get as comfortable as possible for your shavasana, Relaxation. New time. All about you and the baby. You and your baby can do this. And you can do this together. Scan your body for any tension. Take a big breath. Breathe into that area, releasing all tension in your nose, out your nose. Keep repeating to yourself, reminding yourself to be limp and loose of what that feels like. Tell yourself, my body is beautiful and strong. My body is beautiful and strong. My baby is growing perfectly. My baby is growing perfectly. Growing perfectly. Breathe in relaxation. Exhale tension. Tell yourself the universe loves and supports me and my baby. The universe loves and supports me and my baby. Universe loves and supports me and my baby. Each exhale relaxing deeper and deeper, limp and loose. Tell yourself, I am ready for the divine plan of my and my baby's life to unfold. I am ready for the divine plan of my and my baby's life to unfold. Importantly, I am ready. I believe childbirth is natural, normal, safe, and divine. I believe childbirth is natural, normal, safe, and divine. I believe childbirth is natural, normal, safe, and divine. Inhale, exhale. I trust my baby knows how to be born. I trust my baby knows how to be born. I trust my baby knows how to be born. Inhale, exhale. I know my body knows how to birth my baby and I will let it. I know my body knows how to birth my baby, and I will let it. I know my body knows how to birth my baby, and importantly, I will let it. Inhale, exhale. Again. My body 
body is beautiful and strong. My body is beautiful and strong. My body is beautiful and strong. I send love to my baby. I send love to my baby. I send love to my baby. I am calm and relaxed. I am calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. Picture a light emanating from your heart center. Picture that light, that color from your heart center to the baby, connecting you and the baby. Picture that light and bask in its health, love, and glow.
Slowly let that light fade. Feeling calm and confident about the birth process. Slowly start to activate your limbs, wiggle your fingers, roll your ankles, squeeze your knees, your hips, wiggle your head, open, close your mouth. Start to roll onto your side, lengthen out, stretch out, flex at the wrist, flex at the ankles. Big breath in, exhale, sigh out, flap out, slightly bend your knees. Take your time coming up onto your forearm, to your palm. Work your way back to seated, back to crisscross legs. Sit nice and tall, shoulders back and down, twist, realign your spine, twist, and center, look up, chin up, and down, and center, big inhale. Exhale, one long farewell ohm. Ohm. Namaste for the moms. Namaste for the babies. We honor the divine light and our unborn babies. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining me tonight. Remember, make good friends with your ball. Message me any questions you have. And I think we have another baby on our way today as we speak. So that'll be another March baby story that I'll be able to share with you. And hopefully some more um, it is a good idea, like in Mandy's story, if you are going to the hospital have your babies, to leave as quickly as possible. And I know some people are, a lot more people, if you have midwives, are choosing a home birth. Great choice. You know you're armed with all the tools you need to make that happen. And also, I can be your virtual doula if you want. Text me, message me. Um, you know, I think things are happening. What do you think I should do? And I'll be right on that. Other than that, join me again this week, tomorrow at 7. Have a fantastic night. I love you all. Stay safe. Mama, stay safe.